Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is a tutorial. Uh, actually it's an old tutorial that I'm remaking because uh, it's one of my popular, more popular videos and it's the first plane tutorial and it's about time I uh, redo it because most of the most of that other video is a bit outdated with parts I don't exist anymore. Or they exist but they look a lot different and function differently so let's get started building your first plane. Um, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, start with the MK1 uh, cockpit. And that's that's um, we're going to make a small plane for for your first plane. Yeah, seats one Kerbal. It's got quite a nice little aerodynamic design now. They fixed that up. Uh, we are going to need to add some fuel tanks. So the liquid uh, fuel fuselage. I'm going to put three of them on there. So if you all click it, you get to copy it. <laughs> Oops. Click it right. I'm going to add three. A lot of fuel. A lot of fuel for this aircraft, but that's okay. We are in uh, in uh, sandbox mode also, so just so just so you know. And with that, we're just going to need to add some... Let's go ahead and get the motor engine on there. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I am not in the engines. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and uh, make it so uh, we'll put the small ones on the sides. It just looks cool. <laughs> so let's find the fuel tanks again and a little tiny one. That's not a little tiny one. That one. Let's go ahead and hit X so we get the symmetry going. We'll put it right, right there. Yes, very nice. And uh, under aerodynamics, you will find you will find uh, intake. Uh, we need the small one. Is that it? That is not it. Uh, see, they added so many parts, you get lost. I think that's a small circular intake. Very nice. And then we put the engine on the back. Basic. Engine. Um, I don't like how, how it's all like that. Anyway, but that's all right. We'll we'll deal with it. We could just put a little aerodynamic uh, cone on the back of it. <laughs> how about we put like a better one? Yeah, that kind of looks like an aircraft, doesn't it? Without wings. Yes, yeah, so and we are in uh, the aerodynamic uh, part, so we're going to need some... Uh, I'll just use a winglet for this. We'll put that one right. Right about there, so make sure it's straight. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on the outside. Put the symmetry back on, put it on the outside of the aircraft, the engines. Never seen a plane like that before, but I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible to building everything in the center. You can use these things to move them around, rotate, but we're building a first plane, so we'll we'll keep this simple. And I believe it's on the next stage. Stage. Okay, we'll put the swept wings. Don't forget your symmetry. It doesn't look too bad. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. And put some landing gears on. We don't need symmetry for the nose wheel. And for these, these I actually end up using this one. I'll just go go through because I like to put it like right around here, like that. And then we use the rotate thingamajig, <laughs> just so you get them nice and straight. And then I move them out a little bit. So, and then we're gonna move them down just so they don't. Oh, that's too much, too little, just right, just like that. And it, 
and I don't like how I wish we could they would actually add some kind of graphic to make it look like you're stretching it out but for your looks you don't need to do this but for looks I put a little little strut connectors and make it look like at least something's holding the wheels on <laughs> right and <clears throat> last but not least we are going to need some uh, control surfaces. These can be a little bit tricky, so just make sure you get both the wing and the object you're trying to place green. Then you use your WASD to rotate. And then once you've got one place, you can hit Alt and copy, <coughs> copy that item. That is pretty much all the items you need to get a, a functioning aircraft. But one of the more important parts to this, I'm going to go ahead and move this wheel up. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> Using the offset button, I'm going to go ahead and move this up a little bit. Hold down shift so you don't get a huge movement. There we go. One of the more important is these little uh, things right here, center of mass and center of lift. You can't see because of the dumb mud but it's the top one. It shows you the center of mass. And as you can see, the wheels are a little bit far back on this one, the landing gears. So let's go ahead and move those forward a bit. Because you want to keep, give it a good pivot point. Um, so the aircraft, um, yeah, blah, 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 blah. yeah, give it a pivot point so it doesn't have to lift the whole edge. It just kind of has some weight in the back to help lift, give it lift, or help tilt it up. Gosh, I can't talk today, and I can't actually talk any day, so I'm not going to redo it. Uh, but yeah, keep in mind on that, and then you put the center of lift. See where that is, uh, yeah, right? And now you can see it's way far back, so what's going to happen is that the center of lift is right here. I'm going to have to lift more weight than I need to. So, to fix that, the best way to do it is actually move the wings. Move them forward. Alright, I'm still in trouble, and what you can do also, oops, not that. If you right click on these objects, you can actually drain fuel and look what happened in the center of the lift or the center of a uh, mess. We just emptied that tank. You can use, <coughs> excuse me, you can use just um, a fuselage. You don't need to use a fuel tank, but it's good to have. So let's go ahead and save that and uh, go ahead and test it on the runway. And let's see if I am a liar or not, but this should work. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit. But we'll try without SAS first, because that'll. We got the weak small engine, so it takes a little time to take off. See, if I had the land the rear landing gears uh, way way further back, I wouldn't be able to take off like this. Okay, let's not stall it. I stalled it. Okay, the plane works. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, <laughs> whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Let me go ahead and demonstrate what would happen if the wheels are too far back. In two seconds. Yeah, we're back. We're going to put SAS on. Now you can see I moved the landing gears all the way in the back. Let's see how this performs on the runway now. Put full throttle. <clears throat> see, while the center of mass was around here, now my pivot point is here. And I've got five frames per second. What's going on here? Okay, two, two frames per second. There we go, I'm back.
<laughs> Whew. Yeah, that was weird. <clears throat> See? I'm not getting off the ground. And now you have to actually wait until the end of the runway. Because it's too much weight for it to lift. And that's why you need the gears closer to the, to the center of mass so you get a nice little pivot. And how many times can I say pivot in one episode? <laughs> But yeah, we got, uh, it should still work, but you're going to need to just launch it off the edge of the runway. I'm pulling all the way back. There we go. Ooh. Gears up. Careful not to stall it. So that uh, flying does take a little bit of practice. Can we do an immediate turnaround to land? That's how I like to test the aircraft. Can you make it around and come back, take off, and then land the aircraft without it falling apart? Then you made a good place. Let's go ahead and cut throttle. Oh god. Ugly landing, but it worked. <laughs> and hit the brakes. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Very nice. This is going to be a short video, but <laughs> at least it shows you the basics of building your first aircraft and what not to do. That is the last part of this. So remember, move the landing gears closer to the center, but not in front of it, because then you'll just fall backwards. Just behind the center of mass, and you should be all right. That's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a great day, or weekend, or your new week. Bye-bye. Yeah.